Microsoft has always been committed to security. First and foremost, security of the platform. An existential question that um, is, is AI going to rise up and kill all humanity? You know, that's, that's the first fear everybody had about AI. It's not a case that AI is there and it's, it's a scary thing. We should embrace AI. AI has a lot of safety and security built in already. You know, there's a lot of safeguards. Cześć, nazywam się Jarek Mieć i jesteśmy na kanale AVIT, tym razem mobilne studio VC Days Ingram Micro 2024, a moim gościem jest... Carlos Moreno from the Ingram Micro European team and the Microsoft Teams Rooms Program Manager. Hello. Hello. At our, in our studio, uh, this is the first time we are talking together Indeed. in uh, AVIT channel. And uh, first of all, uh, I would like to ask you about safety. Today we are mm. talking a lot about safety in communication in Poland, especially in Poland because of the war uh, sure. uh, in Ukraine. What Microsoft offer in this subject today to make the communication and collaboration more safe? That's a very good question actually, not one that I'm often asked. In fact, you're probably the first person to have ever asked me on this one. Other flavors of this kind of circle around, but Microsoft has always been committed to security. First and foremost, security of the platform. In fact, Microsoft is the leading platform for the least amount of security breaches of any of the, the major, I won't name who they are, but the, the major platforms out there. Um, they've always been committed to this, this philosophy that it needs to be secure first, and then it needs to be features and delivery on the promise as a very close second. But without the security, you don't have anything. Now, the, the security element in specifics is not really the field that I live in, so I can't talk to the, the mechanisms or the, the, should we say, the nuts and bolts of what's under the hood, as it were. Um, but there's, there's the industry leading protocols in terms of security, as you'd expect to find from a leading manufacturer like Microsoft. But that's always been baked in, as we say in the UK, cooked into the solution. So it's not something you have to think about as uh, an IT manager or a network manager. It is already safe. There's lots of white papers to demonstrate that. And there's a lot of proof around the deployment of Teams Rooms, which actually demonstrate through evidence that it's a very secure platform. During your presentation, you talk a lot about AI, mm. no pilot, it's known. Uh, if you talk about Microsoft, every, every know, everybody knows uh, the co-pilot is, uh, uh, is, is a good subject to talk about, but yeah. nobody asks questions about the safety of AI. It's a good one, right? I mean, this is the, it's an existential question that um, is, is AI going to rise up and kill all humanity? You know, that's, that's the first fear everybody had about AI. I think, um, we're a long way away from something like that potentially even being possible. But the pace of development is quite scary. The way that we've enhanced the proposition with AI um, as, a, as an industry, Microsoft as a leading protagonist of this, has really moved the needle considerably with the uh, onset of AI. You know, we've got generative AI in the form of ChatGPT, which is an open AI platform that Microsoft are 49% uh, invested into. Um, and obviously that is a major player for them. Uh, but then you also have Copilot, you have MS Designer, which is on the, the more graphical side of things. So there's a lot of different things that are being utilized now. Now, within Teams Rooms, when you take Copilot and Generative AI and you put it into that context, suddenly it's doing a lot of the tasks that we would naturally need to do. It's doing an all those tasks in a manner of automation, which is quick, efficient, sometimes more efficient than the, the user would probably Especially like to Especially for researchers. Yeah, exactly. As a, uh, I think for, for the listeners here, I gave an example of my wife who's a researcher and I had to explain to her how to use ChatGPT and Copilot to great effect, which help her on a project. But no, absolutely great point, right? This is, this is the living embodiment of what I've, I was saying in the presentation, that it's, it's not a case that AI is there and it's, it's a scary thing. We should embrace AI. AI has a lot of safety and security built in already. There's a lot of safeguards, mechanisms in place that the manufacturers put in, not just Microsoft, but others as well. And it's being developed to be a tool for us. And it's, that's what it really is and will continue to be for the foreseeable future. It's a tool for us to be able to use, utilize and, and to great effect 
minimize the strain of our day-to-day -day workload as we work into a more um, modern workplace based type of methodology which is to say that no longer is the old style of working right we have now become very hybrid workforces across the whole of europe um, and in particular central eastern europe is is leading the way in that as well you know with the, the way that things are working so there's there's a lot a lot of things that people are fearful of ai but the reality is that they don't need to be you know ai is, AI is our friend we need to use it like our friend and copilot is a great buddy to everyone i use copilot all the time i use chat gpt you know these are things that are very fundamentally um, linked to my working practice my day-to-day -day would take me several hours more every day if i didn't utilize these tools but that's how accustomed i've become to using them now i've actually developed a almost a dependency we have to learn it yeah exactly we have to learn it we have to learn the prompts there are um, and for anybody listening here there's um, the Microsoft expert zone which is um, expertzone.com um, which is a resource for anyone that's listening to be able to go on there and educate themselves as to how to write prompts how to utilize AI in, in the, the team not just the team's rooms environment but generally so there's lots of certification they can get um, off the back of that which will help with careers um, but also just a general understanding around the topic there's a lot of resources that have uh, a responsible manufacturer like Microsoft puts into this. And as Ingram Micro is a, a very key partner to Microsoft, we are ensuring that that message gets through to our partners, that everybody has access to this um, information, access to the resources, and we're happy to, to train anybody. In fact, it's our mantra. We we live by the, the whole principle of, of making sure people are empowered to use the technology, but more importantly, that they are engaged when using it. Thank you very welcome thank you for for the conversation not not very long but it was very good short and sweet just how everyone likes it <laughs> thank you a wam również dziękuję i zapraszam do naszego kanału kanału na YouTubie oraz do platform podcastowych Apple Spotify i Google cześć